Hey guys, what is we're back? Uh, this is not really a news video or anything of that sort. Uh, but however, you know, it involves kind of products for the aisle, like ideas. Uh, one of my ideas is Lego the Isle. Now, Lego the Isle is like you could make a Lego uh, Hypo Rex, Lego Spinosaurus, Lego Isle V3. You know, that kind of stuff, that kind of thing. Uh, and my second thing was plushies, dinosaur plushies, but I used the Dryo plushie because, you know, why not? Uh, and there's like a little button thing inside of it that triggers, like when you squeeze it, it's a tr like it triggers a sound. Like if you squeeze the Dryo, it makes a squeak sound, like the danger call because it's so fucking adorable. Because it needs to be a thing, alright? It's a, gonna be a perfect dog toy. Um, and if you get like a, a Hypo Rex, um, Hypo Rex plushie, it, when you squeeze it, it gives a da the danger call because you're kind of hurting it, kind of squeezing its guts out. So, yeah, that's a good idea. That's an idea. Honestly, I think that will entertain a lot of kids. Even though I'm pretty sure Tony doesn't give a shit, uh, it's it's still a good idea, and that, that might be a thing if uh, Donnie invests in the Lego the Isle and like products like T-shirts, uh, keychains, uh, toys, and all that. Uh, or they could just um, other companies can just oh that's that's a pretty um, interesting game that might work for us, like when it's really big and it's complete. Uh, like the uh, the Halo Halo games, there is Mega Box of Halo, uh, and there's toys of Halo and all that stuff. So that'll be pretty cool to see some the Isle products uh, on the shelves. So I could go to Walmart and see oh a Lego the Isle set with a Hypo Rex uh, and all that stuff. Not like completely mad at Legos, but more of Hold on, let me put on face cam because I'm a pleb. Um, let me edit this. Oh shit, shit, I'm fucking up. Uh, like, can't see in the dark. Kind of like this. Basically, kind of like One Piece, but like you have to put the arms on. Oh, let me just like turn edit scene off. Uh, like you could, uh, you could place the arms. You could take them out. You could put them back in. Uh, you can move it up and down. Uh, same thing with the legs. You could remove them. Uh, put them, put them in. Move it around. The tail. You can remove that. You know if this will work. And you can put it back in and twist it around a little bit, but that won't really work that way. Put on the head and put up the jaw on the head. Open the jaw. Uh, moving the head uh, back and forth and twist around and stuff. And that'd be pretty cool. Uh like there could be multiple than like usually like a Lego series usually has up to seven uh kind of hmm how do I say it? Uh like about like seven sets per the series. Uh, but like really, really big uh, kind of series like Star Wars, that could be a thing for the Isle, and I think it will work for the Isle because it makes sense. Uh, Spinosaurus, they could have like a Spinosaurus like with like a a fish, and like with some tribals or cannibals uh, hiding in the bushes or something, you know, something like that. And T Rex, you know. Hunting a Myosaurus. Uh, that could be a Lego set. Uh, a Hypo Rex fighting a Hypo Spino. <laughs> That's a. That'll pro be probably like $150 right there. If I had to make a guess. Because come on, it's a Hypo Rex and Hypo Spino. Who doesn't want that? Or if we get lucky, it'll be at 112 but anyway, I should really stop talking about the future, or if that is part of the future, I need to stop talking about it because I could be very easily, you know, easily wrong. And I could be very wrong about that, and I don't really want to 
spread misinformation. But it is a good idea uh, to have a uh, blur, the blur, um, to have toys, Lego sets, plushies, action figures, etc., etc., statues, so stuff like that. And I think that'll be that would help the aisle a little bit. So people who haven't heard of it and they see it on the shelves, oh, a dinosaur thing. Uh, and like at the bottom or something, it shows like the Steam uh, link uh, and all that stuff. It shows the uh, the uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't uh, the site the the site like the page of the game. I I don't know. I'm gone. I gone brain dead for forever. I'm losing what I used to remember very well. But that'll be a good idea to see those kind of things in there. So people like that see a Lego the aisle and see these dinosaurs and stuff. Like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I might, be, I might love that. So like he could check check around and all that, um, and he could just download it and buy it that way and see ch see how it is. And I think it'll definitely help the aisle with money. Uh, so they could get more stuff, more dinosaurs in. Um, you know, if there is any that we're missing. Because there's a lot. So. I don't think any game has accomplished getting all dino like all prehistoric animals in one game. And no, I'm not saying Mezuzoka. That shit is ac inaccurate. And they're immature. So. They talk shit too much. They need to stop. Alright, let me just put that little indominus um, in its place. Uh, yeah, I think it would, it would help out the community and, you know, help the awareness about the game. Same thing with uh, Saurian, you know. They could put the, the plushies and Lego sets and make that a thing. Or they could just be like Minecraft and they just have their own website where you could only buy stuff from there. Uh, I'm okay with that too. I'm okay. And won't kill me. Maybe. Like there's like a like a stripe right here on my like is that normal? I look like I just got cut there. What the fuck? It's right where my finger is. You should see it. It's like what is that? Hmm. Oh, that's just shade some ridges on my face hopefully I don't I, I don't know I got some like black eyes and shit what the fuck is up with that no oh, well. from from what I can see I have you know I'm just gonna like see it out so I can see myself better yeah I kind of do have kind of like a purple eye uh, huh. it's weird it's strange that there. So yeah, I think that would be a good idea for both Saurian and the Isle uh, to make games so people could buy them and spread the awareness about the game so they can get more money for people who fi found that game interesting uh, and the products interesting so you'll get more money uh, that way and through the, the stuff they purchase like plushies and Legos and shit. Or they could just have it on their website and people could buy it from there. Or they could start off like Minecraft where only like small Lego sets. Uh, and the, those only <laughs> those Minecraft uh, Lego sets were only on the website uh, until you know they spread it out in the into the like the community in the stores. Then they decided to make bigger Lego sets like the Ender Dragon area which I actually still have not, not saying I lost it or anything or I moved but matter of fact I'm gonna make that video later thank you guys for watching peace out